$17,000 is roughly what you would pay for a decent used car. It's also the cost of a handful of stitches and a tetanus shot at Bayonne Medical Center, according to a bill Ryan Edgerton received. It's simply absurd. Edgerton's sticker shock is not all that uncommon. $9,000 is a lot to eat. For a band aid. Bear Hanush Rakowski was equally shocked by a bill from Bayonne for a cut on his finger requiring no stitches. And that's why we are in the crisis we are in health care. Pat Palmer runs a company that negotiates health care costs on behalf of patients and says she's seen it all. 53000 for a trauma team that never performed one thing. You may remember hearing about the $39 skin-to-skin -skin fee for a nurse to hand a newborn to his mother at a hospital in Utah. Palmer says it's just another way to pad a patient's bill. She also takes issue with the verbiage on some hospital billing. For example, do you know what a mucus recovery system is? That's a box of Kleenex. Hospitals live and die on sales revenues. But Martin Gaynor, an economist who specializes in health care costs, says hospitals, just like any other business, need to turn a profit to pay for overhead, like salaries, equipment, and regulatory compliance. The total charges, which are like the sticker price on a car, that's what the hospital asks, but not what they actually get paid. Gaynor says typically insurance companies will negotiate with the hospitals over these list prices or aspirational charges as they're called. They get paid what are often called allowed amounts, usually a fraction of the charges. Additionally, a spokesperson for CarePoint Health System, which oversees Bayonne Medical Center, told CBS2 that when hospitals have a lot of uninsured or underinsured patients, some costs shift to the private payer. At the end of the day, both Edgerton and Hanush Rakowski were billed less than $1,000 out of pocket for their care, but they say that was still too much, and they had health insurance. If they or anyone else didn't have insurance, they would have been responsible for the full amount. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.